so you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. We're asked to determine a rational function for the given graph. Let's begin by determining the equations of the vertical and horizontal asymptotes, as well as the horizontal intercepts. We have vertical asymptotes at x equals negative four and x equals three. We have a horizontal asymptote of y equals two. And we have two horizontal intercepts, or x-intercepts, here at the origin and the point two comma zero. So the horizontal intercepts are zero comma zero and two comma zero. And now we'll begin building the function in the form shown here where we have f of x equals a some constant times a rational expression. Now looking at the notes, the zeros of any common factors between the numerator and denominator result in holes. We don't have any holes and therefore we can skip this step. Next, the zeros of only the denominator result in vertical asymptotes. And since we have two vertical asymptotes, this information will give us two binomial factors of the denominator. If x equals negative four is a zero of the denominator, the denominator must contain a factor of x plus four. And if x equals three is a zero of the denominator, then the denominator must contain a factor of x minus three. And now we can determine factors of the numerator from the horizontal intercepts. The zeros of only the numerator result in horizontal intercepts. So because we have horizontal intercepts at x equals zero and x equals two, x must be a factor of the numerator and so must x minus two. Notice that zero and two are zeros of x times the quantity x minus two. And now we should be able to determine the value of a since we know we have a horizontal asymptote of y equals two. Remember we can determine the equation of a horizontal asymptote of a rational function by analyzing the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice how if we were to multiply out the numerator, the highest degree term would be x squared. And if we were to multiply out the denominator, the highest degree term would also be x squared. So the degree of the numerator and denominator are both two. And remember, when the degree of the numerator and denominator are the same, the ratio of leading coefficients gives us the equation of the horizontal asymptote. So right now, the ratio of leading coefficients would be one over one, which is equal to one, and since the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y equals two, the ratio of leading coefficients must be two, and therefore a must be two. And since a is two, we can just place the two in the numerator. So the ratio of the leading coefficients is now two over one, or just two. And just to make sure this is correct, let's pick one point on the function to make sure it does satisfy this equation. Let's go and select this point here, where the ordered pair is four comma two. Let's make sure f of four is equal to two. So f of four is equal to, we'd have two times four, and then four minus two is two. In the denominator, we'd have four plus four, which is eight, and then four minus three is one. Simplifying, we have 16 divided by eight, which is equal to two. Since f of four is equal to two, and our graph does contain the point four comma two, we can be assured our equation for the function is correct. I hope you found this helpful.